Okay, all right. I know. I know we don't like sitting on the floor, but give me a few minutes and we'll go back up. Hi guys, welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to be testing a potential dupe for you, and I'm very excited about this because it's for one of my favourite holy grail ever, like, best products ever product. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're going to be trying to see if we can find a dupe for the Cosmetic CC Cream, which I have used for a couple of years now. Everybody raves about it, there is a very good reason that everybody raves about it because it's so flipping good. Um, but I would like to see if there is a dupe because those cost me over 30 quid a time. So yeah, hopefully the product that we're going to be trying today will do that for us. But we shall see. Anyway, if you like this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Um, and yeah, let's put some stuff on this face. So, you can see how loved my uh, It Cosmetics CC Primer is. <laughs> Because it's basically run out, which is why I have a new one. So I'm going to try and use this one today because I don't think I'm going to open a new one until I... But we'll, we'll get that. Um, but yes, the It Cosmetic CC Cream. It is a holy grail product for so many people. And there is a very good reason why. It gives you really good coverage. It's very hydrating. It has all of like the SPF and the UVA in it. Um, it apparent, apparently it offers seven benefits. So yeah, full coverage foundation. Um... SPF 50, brightens, colour corrects, hydrates, minimises the look of pores, conceals dark signs, spots and signs of ageing. Um, it is just meant to be pretty much fantastic and it is amazing and I do love it and this is just like my normal everyday base of toys which is why I go through them so quickly. Yeah. So yeah, but they are about £30 at a time, so I wanted to see if we could find a potential dupe. And I was looking through the Boots website the other day, and I was looking at like different descriptions and things, and I came across something that I thought could potentially maybe be a dupe. Maybe. So this was what I picked up. This is the L'Oreal Paris BB Say Magique BB Cream 5-in-1 Skin Perfector. So I mean, it's not 7-in-1 but it's five in one. Um, so it's meant to be a lightweight, creamy formula with smart pigments which transform on contact with the skin. It unifies, it hydrates, it protects, it smooths, it illuminates, um, and it also gives an SPF of 20. So a lot of what it says it does, the Air Cosmetics CC Cream also says it does. So we are gonna be putting that to the test. We're gonna be putting one on one side of the face, this on the other side of the face, and seeing how they compare. And this is significantly cheaper. I think it's 10.99. So it would save me a lot of money if that is the case. But that's what we are going to test today. So I've put my normal primer on. I've used my Clarins SOS primer. It's just my normal primer. Whenever I test new bases, I want to make sure that I'm using a primer that I, where I know, I know it well. And I know the Clarins one very, very well. We're very well acquainted. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how like this obviously goes. Um, but yeah, that's what we're doing. And I'm going to be applying with a sponge because that is how I would normally do the It Cosmetics one. So that's all we're going to do. So I'm going to do the It Cosmetics side first. So I usually take about a pump and a half, maybe two pumps. I'm only going to take maybe, that was more like three quarters of a pump. Is that an actual thing? Three quarters of a pump? It is now. I'm just going to take my sponge and just do half, this half of the face with the It Cosmetics CC Cream. What I will say is this does have a bit of a weird smell but otherwise I really do love this product it gives really nice coverage it's not too like heavy it is a very lightweight consistency so it's very easy to wear in summer I absolutely love this and it's pretty much the only thing I take if I go on holiday because I don't feel like I need anything else because it does everything it's got the SPF you can build up the coverage for it so you know you can kind of just build up the coverage if you're out in the evenings it gives like a lovely glow it it just does kind of everything that I would want a base to do and I've just I just really 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 love it it lasts really well if I'm going to like the office in London for example I will actually mix this with my Colourpop stick foundation and um, I'll just put that on and then I'll take my cosmetics on a sponge and like blend it all together because I feel like it helps it to last that little bit longer on a more of like a heavy duty day but on a normal day it really doesn't need it so you can see it gives a really natural finish it just like evens out any skin tone so there's no like redness my pores 
look amazing underneath it which is like a mix of that and the Clarins one um, and yeah I just really like how my skin looks with it so let's try this the same BBC Magique um, so this I also I got in the shade light I get the it cosmetics also in the shade light so it'll be interesting to see like what the difference between the lights is okay that's not what I was expecting it comes out white it's one of these types of products where okay interesting so I'm gonna use the other side of my sponge this is now scaring me it's scaring me now I think I need a lot more of this than the cosmetics. I mean, it is changing that colour slightly, but it is very light and it looks still quite white on my skin, which I'm not loving. This could be an absolute fail of a video. Okay, so for starters you can see a massive difference in terms of colour. It does come out white and I am, I just feel like, oh, that blended out so much nicer with my finger. I'm quite tempted actually to redo that size side but with my hand instead of the sponge because I feel like it's looking very very white so I might just try a different form of application and see if that makes a difference because I feel like that hasn't changed colour but when I blended that out on my hand with my finger it does look very similar to the It Cosmetics one so maybe that's what I need to be doing BRB let's take this side off and we're gonna read a wig this is just weird now because I feel like you can see like how much difference and how good that primer and that base is together. So I just very quickly reapply what's left of my primer. So we're going to try this again. But we're going to try it with the hands. The hands or the brush? No, we're going to start with the hands and we are going to see like how that goes so let me just pop a bit on to start with I don't know why I did it on this hand because I'm right handed I'm just literally gonna go like this Weirdo. I feel like the color is coming out so much more that way than with the sponge so that's interesting to note I actually have like colour and coverage. I don't look like a ghost. That's good to know. I feel like I'm using a lot of this. Okay, so I'm just literally going to take the rest of that off my sponge and I'm just going to dab with a clean side just to try and get like the same sort of finish and make sure that it's like actually on the skin. Okay, it's definitely still lighter. I feel like it's not giving as much coverage as my Cosmetics CC Cream from first from first glance and I'm sure you can probably see on the camera as well but I feel like if I just use this on its own it would be all right I think because I'm comparing it to that I'm just like mm. but using the hand works so much better you've still got a really nice glowy finish you do still get some coverage I wouldn't say I've got as much as with the cosmetics but there is still some coverage there and it is working to blur slightly so that's nice so yeah I think overall it is nice. I think there's definitely aspects of it from first impression where I'm like, yeah, it's not as good. It's not as good. But when you apply it in the right way, you 
get a lot better finish from it. You get more of what you wanted. That's not bad. That is not bad at all, to be honest. Um, I was very scared for the first few moments. I was like, Ugh, this is going to be a really bad video and I'm going to have to rethink it. But actually, it's come out okay. It's come out okay. I don't think it's as flawless as the cosmetic side. That's like my initial thought. It's not quite as flawless. I think it's a little bit more glowy. But I feel like for like a... On its own, as like an everyday base, it might be quite nice. I think it's just because I'm comparing it. I don't necessarily think from first impressions it's up there. I don't think it's a great dupe. It's got some of the same properties, but it's not quite on the same level. I think if you had never tried the It Cosmetic CC Cream, then it's a nice one to kind of like give you an idea of what it could do, but it's still not quite at the same level is what is that's where my thoughts are going right now um i am gonna just finish the rest of my makeup and um i will come back to you with some final thoughts okay final thoughts and apologies if you can hear all the rain and the lighting's gone weird it's today it cannot make up as my mind wants to be sunny or rainy and apparently when i film it decides to rain so very quickly i will round up my thoughts so looking at my skin with like the rest of my makeup on and everything I would still 100% pick up the It Cosmetic CC Cream instead of the... Where did you go? Where did you go? <laughs> instead of the L'Oreal BB Cream Magic. I do feel like this is nice, there's nothing like really wrong with it and it does look really nice on the skin. I just feel like the It Cosmetics gives a little bit more of a flawless finish, like my pores just feel a lot more invisible. I just feel like I'm a little bit more... Like I've got more of like an Instagram filter on on this side of my face than this side of my face. Um, but as I said, it's not a bad product at all. Like I quite like it. It feels a little bit kind of greasier. So I think if you have oily skin, you probably won't like this. Um, but it did cover nicely once I figured out like how best to apply it and how best to use it. Fingers is the way to go. Um, it does, it is lightweight. It's, it does the things I think that it says. So it, apparently it hydrates, it protects, it smooths, it kind of smooths, not as well as the cosmetics but it does smooth um, and it does illuminate so I do feel like I've got a nice glow so I do think it's a nice product and I feel like it could be in like the mix of products that could be a dupe for the cosmetic CC cream, it's just falling down in a couple of little areas I think that kind of still take this to the whole next level so for me i'm still going to be reaching for my cosmetics i'm still going to be using that on my day-to-day -day basis i think this is going to turn into like one of those products i use for like a real no makeup makeup day where i actually really just don't want to put anything on but i just feel like i need a little something i don't want to look like a red faced weirdo um so yes yeah, so i feel like this is definitely going to be more for like those off duty moments but this is still going to be my go-to day to day so unfortunately it's not quite white filling the little lip cosmetics cc cream hole in my life but it made a really really good attempt it, it had a good go at it and i would say it's probably like 70 70 maybe 80 but 70 percent of the way there um so yeah unfortunate but still a nice product i'm still glad that i have it and i will still use it as i said ow just not quite here not quite that standard but yeah it gave, we gave it a go, we tested it, this is what these videos are for. But if you can think of anything else or any other products that might be a good dupe for this, I have found, or I've heard that the Maybelline Dream Urban is apparently meant to be a really good dupe for this, so, and I did try and pick that up, but it's not in stock anywhere. So <laughs> once that comes back in stock, I might do another video and give that a go against this. Um, but if you have any other things, let me know, or if you want to know if you want to help find any other dupes or any other kind of high-end products that you love let me know as well and i will definitely give it a go but yeah otherwise i hope you guys like this video if you did please give it a thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button we're about halfway through main madness now i think a couple of weeks in we've still got a little way to go but we're, we're going and i hope you guys are enjoying it so yeah make sure you subscribe to stay up to date and i'll link all the other like channels below but um yeah i will see you all again very very soon bye